No, I didn't. Larry Eiler and his horrific killing spree are as unforgettable as the faces of his still nameless victims. I think about them every day. They're, they're, they're in my office. They're referred to as my kids. Bones, dental records, DNA results, and other crime scene evidence are clues to a mystery Scott McCord has labored years to solve. If, if my kids went missing today, I would, I would hunt till the day I died for them. So somebody has to miss them. But who? 30 years ago, the Newton County coroner was about the same age as the young men found buried in the farm country of Newton and Jasper counties. In the early 80s, hitchhikers, male prostitutes, dozens of young men living on the fringe of society disappeared. Their remains were later found in shallow graves near interstate exits and along state highways. Back in 1983, it seemed like every other week more bodies were being discovered in farm fields like this one, while scores of lawmen scattered between Chicago, Terre Haute, Indianapolis, even as far away as Ohio, struggled to compare notes, connect the dots, and put an end to the carnage. A special police task force eventually caught up with Larry Eiler, an Indiana handyman who split his time between Indianapolis, Terre Haute, and Chicago. Convicted in Chicago of one murder and sentenced to death, Eiler confessed with remarkable detail to 21 brutal killings. Larry confessed to just picking them up along the road. They were just hitchhiking. In the Terre Haute area, post-mortem exams and a forensic artist show what two of the men probably looked like. Victim one, white, 17 to 23 years old, between 5'2 and 5'9. He had crude tattoos of a cross and a rectangle on his right arm. Victim two, African-American, 15 to 18 years old, 5'8 to 6'2. He wore a gold jeans belt buckle and a belt with devil stitched in red. Victim three, no sketch, but the white man carried a lighter engraved with Arlene. He was in his mid-20s, 5'6 to 5'8 with long reddish hair. They're somebody's son. They're somebody's brother. Someone's friend, someone's student, yet after sending flyers and information to hundreds of communities, McCord has heard from no one, received not one good lead. None yet. You say that with optimism. These kids will be home. I will get them home. I want their parents to bury them. And after all these years, peacefully laid to rest an undying, painful mystery. Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.